Welcome back to all ye lost souls, whoever may find this. This is Lifter's Log 0414 for 16 p.m. in the afternoon. Last week concluded the hypertrophy focused training and overall I found it successful, interestingly challenging and very worthwhile. I managed to put on about a kilo and a half, sitting around 119 kilos body weight, maintained body composition pretty favorably. So overall, there are some big wins. Now, looking at the training in the objective sense of, did my estimated one rep maxes on my competition lifts go up? Squat and bench press, maybe not so much, stagnated a little bit. Um, deadlift reacted very favorably but overall, um, you know, the block achieved its goal. To start with day one, it's probably the worst my squat has felt in quite some time. Um, got greedy, worked up to 260 kilos per set of five, really forced it, loose bottom position. Just, it didn't look hard, but it looked painful. And I mean, it was. Given the focus of this block was hypertrophy, I think I overshot my expectations and uh, tried to cling to, oh, well, I should be able to do X, Y, and Z under any condition. That's just not the case. Comp Bench tells a similar story. However, not painful, was not as successful as I would have liked. Um, worked up to 175 kilos for a triple. They were okay, but um, probably still a nine and a half RPE, and that's not really, you know, that's not, I would prefer if those weights moved a lot better. Um, given the quality of nutrition I've been able to find on this planet, um, the amount of rest I've been able to get while being sequestered from society, uh, it, it's tough to swallow those losses, uh, if you want to call them that, but this was a week of unconventional PRs and, and success in other areas. For example, day two, my comp deadlift worked up to 335 kilos for a triple uh, at about an 8 RP, which projects me around a good solid 390 kilos for an E1RM. My best pull ever raw being 375. I felt really damn good. No pain, no issues, um, good clean reps. Was really happy with this. Continued to push my seated overhead press that day, 65 kilos for a set of 12. Nothing impressive, but it was a very foreign, very weak movement for me at the beginning of the block and uh, showed a lot of progress throughout. High bar squat sets at eight that day as well. I've been using these more to just get more volume on my body. Uh, I've been keeping the RPs quite light, undershooting probably substantially, but this has been the best feeling of uh, movement of my squat for this block. So ended with 190 for a set of eight there. Again, nothing impressive per se, but good quality work and I was happy with that. Now the second half of the week is where things kind of started to pick up in terms of the unconventional PRs I mentioned earlier. Bulgarian split squat 12s, worked up to 100 kilos there for 12 reps per leg. Was pretty happy with how well I handled it, how well the aftermath, uh, or sorry, how I handled the aftermath. I wasn't uh, puking, I wasn't in a heap on the floor. Felt pretty good. Um, also did my, my rows and my rack pull-ups that day, and I always love those. I'm hoping that I can keep some variation of that pulling in. Uh, it just feels really good to do that work. I feel like my back is thickening up, and, and that's never a bad thing. There's also some successes on day four with 145 kilos for 12 on the touch-and-go bench. My previous best high rep touch-and-go PR being 142.5 for a set of 10, so adding two and a half kilos and two reps felt pretty damn good. I was able to maintain my weight on both activations of my Mayo reps for the close grip three board, 135 kilos for both sets. I think I got a couple extra reps in there as compared to last week, so again, continuing to ratchet that up. And finished the day with half kneeling landmine press up to 60, 65 kilos on these. Push these quite hard. Um, it's a sort of density training, so basically I work up to uh, an approximate 12 rep max and spend 12 minutes hitting as many sets and reps as I can per arm. Um, that's been a really cool movement. I've started prescribing that to a number of people who I'm coaching remotely, and um, that's been been a, a hit with a lot of people as well. Gonna be heading into a washout next week, and from there into probably some not so dissimilar programming following that washout. Probably try to push my raw strength a little bit, see if I can eke out some raw squat progress, which would feel good, um, and basically just keep hammering away at it, trying to grow, 
and um, taking advantage of the isolation here on Planet Powerlifting. That's it for today, signing off. <laughs>